Boondock Nation. Look up Boondock Nation, and you can see some of his filming on there. And, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it joined the adventure. So his name is Jack. And he's going to be helping us produce it. And it's, oh my gosh, the drone shots he's got on there. And he, it, the show, the Boondock Nation that he films and does is like, if you're into like snow sports, like, um, stuff like snowboarding and stuff like that. I don't know what all I, I did. <laughs> Snowmobiling but, and like, skiing. And snowmobiling sp- and yeah. stuff. The shots he gets, though, are just phenomenal. I mean, this stuff looks National Geographic to me, but pretty bad to the bone. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited to see what we're going to do and find and all the adventures and be able to, I don't know when that will be able to be released because <laughs> we actually have a permit with the government for the treasure part. So um, that will we'll probably have to wait till all of that part's done. So I really don't know how that will happen yet. So, But we'll be there to film and document it and treasure hunt while we're there. And it's probably going to be two trips over there this year. So again in January or, well, beginning of next year, January anyway, February or January when I may go back. So I'll keep out posted on that. Well, that's exciting. All of it's exciting, you little busy bee finding treasure. Yeah, yeah. Now if I can just get out and find my local, I'll be happy to dig a a wheat penny right now. (laughs) <laughs> an Indian yeah. or, just get out and swing anything. I just <laughs> yeah. want to go swing right now even if I could man if I could go to the beach right now I would be so happy I would be so happy oh, or the river a, yeah I've seen a lot of people hitting the beaches around me and seeing the posts and my god they're definitely finding some nice stuff but I'm I'm just oh. not there's there's beach people and then there's I'm just not I'm not I mean I'll if there was nothing else I could do for treasure hunting, I guess right, I'd go, right. I guess I'd go beach hunting. But. Yeah, beach hunting. I just it's more, you know, you don't normally find anything old, but for me, it's just therapeutic for me. Yeah. So that's why I like it. But oh my gosh, y'all! I just got a photo from Amanda, and she's showing me that beautiful blue inkwell she got and it is absolutely gorgeous love it yeah, sorry i've been very very bad at posting like i try i did the eye i was like ooh, i gotta share the doll eye on on instagram and facebook um i have been <laughs> i have been trying to catch up on youtube with the videos tiktok is really um that stays the most up to date on videos but it doesn't I don't get to share any like I don't do post any of the pictures of some of the stuff that I might not get videos of so I'm all over the place You know what's place. really crazy <laughs> when you sent me that photo that I I guess mm-hmm. you were out digging still or you maybe just yep. gotten home I don't know and Amanda sent me that eye and I really thought it was like one of those prosthetic like mm-hmm. fake eyes you know that's what I thought it was. I didn't know it was a doll eye at first. Yeah. Just no, it looks me. it looks so real. Like it it is it's, beautifully manufactured. Like the it's yeah, it's kind of crazy how beautiful this eye. I know I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> I'm like this eyeball that I pull out of the, that's glass that I pulled out of the water is just gorgeous. Right? <laughs> Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a brown, brown, it's a brown eye. Got a brown eye from the water, Um, but it is really, really pretty. So yeah, I, I spied an eye with my little eye. (laughs) Uh, Yes, it's gonna be one of those weeks. We welcome Monday, and um, yeah, I mean, I do hope to get out. I know we've got some severe weather that's going to be coming through because of the heat. I think I saw something about, you know, some thunderstorms. The heat index were warnings for, I think, today and tomorrow. But I'm um, hoping to definitely get into the river. Um, I am kind of back and forth on 
having John do the KT tape, I was like, maybe I should tape up my shoulders to do it. And then I was like, I don't know, because then the tape, you know, when I do the KT tape, I usually keep it on my shoulders for a few days. And if I'm in the river, I'm not going to want to keep that tape on my arm for more than the time I'm in the river. <laughs> so, and ripping off KT tape hurts. Even if it gets wet, it hurts. You've seen me. I oh, think, gosh. I think bone, how many days were we there? And the entire time my arm was taped up. Wow. See, we need yep, we was. need to get the kinetic tape to to sponsor. <laughs> sponsor. I think yeah, for I'm sure. Like, Cuz I'm like, "Oh, you know, I wonder if I can use it for my wrist and my knee and everything else that's slowly falling apart." It's you like duct tape. Could. I'm, sure, I'm sure you could. <laughs> Instead of duct taping my uh, metal detector, I'm now duct taping my joints. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. We're getting younger. We've uh, got to keep telling yeah. ourselves that. We're yeah. getting younger. Yeah. Um, Someone made a good point the other day. They're like, yeah, but you're out in the heat. Your joints probably don't like the heat because it is so hot. And it's really oh, hard God. for everybody out there. You really need to make sure to stay cool, be drinking lots of water, the the dehydration like is a lot faster in the summer and you might be like oh i'm in the river i'm not thirsty but no like yeah you do you need to be something i recently learned and i am no doctor and i know some of you what we've been taught about salt is so bad for us and all this stuff but i'm not talking table salt table salt probably is not great for you but I've learned recently that um, if you think of your body, it, your body is this, inter- it's, your body is a battery. We're energetic batteries. <laughs> and um, we need salt, but not, I'm not talking table salt. If you started, and I'm, I've been going to order me some, if you order Celtic salt, and it's very hard to find unless you go to, like, a health food store. Um, you need, like, all natural, no additives or anything like that because that's the problem with your table salt. It's iodized salt. It's not, like, natural Celtic salt. But it will keep you from ge- being dehydrated um, if you drink... Um, like and electrolytes also, and stuff, all that. Yeah, yeah. And instead of like your electrolytes and all that, what it does um, to the body, I'll have to get the specs, the specifics on it, but if you take a little Celtic, natural Celtic salt with your water and tend to drink spring water, not the stuff that's been processed crap. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> You're fine, <laughs> I said you're that fine. word, but anyway, it's the truth. It's all everything these days is chemically processed. But anyway, you'll be a lot healthier and you'll last a lot longer out in that heat. So um, that's what I'm going to be ordering tonight is my Celtic salt. Nice. Anyway, I guess we're about out of time. Uh, we're definitely getting there. That's for sure. It flies. I feel like um, you've, I think we've actually both been so busy. I'm like, I was going, did we have a show last week? Oh, yeah, we had a show last week. But it was so busy with you and the, the guys that it, that show just flew. <laughs> and then this week has flown. And here we are, July 15th. Um, I think the, I named the show Midsummer Treasures. So um, I'm hoping you get to go out this week and find some treasures. And um, Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you got to keep us updated. Obviously, you know, next week I'll ask again about uh, the show. <laughs> I'm just going to bug you to death about it. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And if I missed anybody's questions, chat is not, I don't know what's going on. It might be something with my phone. 
it's basically keep shutting down different internet sites. And I, so I couldn't see, I saw a little bit and then I was like, nope, I'm done trying to get into here. Um, but I'll try to answer them at some point. I do go through and make sure anybody that comments after the fact, I try to check it out. But, um, and I don't know if there's a show. I think there is. I thought I saw a post. Do you know if American Digger has a show next? Um, I think I saw that they had a show tonight. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure I did. Yes. Yes, but... they are on tonight. Yes. And it is on, nope, that was the show before that. Nope, that was six days before that. I have no idea. Facebook doesn't like me either. So I'm seeing stuff from like, I don't know, three weeks ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's not helpful. I'm pretty sure, though, that I did see okay. that they did have one. So awesome. Just me awesome. Know. Perfect. Well, it was awesome catching up with you. Make sure you take some time for great. you. I will try to do that. I will try. Most definitely, I will try. All right. Well, y'all all have a great night. It was great catching up with you too, Amanda. And uh, y'all have a great week. And I hope you get to get out there and, again, stay hydrated. And we'll see you all next next time. Yes. Good night, next. all. Good night, everyone. Have a great week. <laughs>